A common issue for creaking planners is making sure that they have robust evidence on which to base decisions on what they want to include in their portfolio and how to promote their courses. Here's how it works. The first step is to decide whether the analysis is going to look at 16 to 18 year old learners, apprenticeships or the HE market or even the adult learners or do you need to look at all of these? The second step is to define the geographical area which you like to investigate. Is it the wider region? Is it your main catchment area for a particular type of learners? Or is it a combination of both? Are you looking for information based over a one year snapshot? Do you need to look at trends in enrolments over three years? Trend analysis will show you whether you've been ahead or behind the market. If you are thinking about expanding a particular curriculum area, the analysis can be limited to that one area, or maybe you need to have an evidence base for curriculum planning in all subjects. Once you've decided on the specification for the analysis, the research can start. The first thing to do is identify your main recruitment area for the type of learners you want to investigate. That's what contributes 80% of those learners, for example 16 to 18 year olds or HG learners. You do this by looking at your learner records. You may also want to look at developments in your wider region and compare the two areas. Many providers use mapping software these days, but of course this only gives you access to your own learner records. If you're interested in market share of all learners in a particular location, then this is something RSC can do for you. And we can also show how this has changed over time. The next step is to look at enrolments made by learners resident in the target location. Again, that may be your main recruitment area or a wider region or both. The information can be broken down by subject area and level. You can identify volumes of enrolments and trends over time. You can also compare developments in your locality with those in your wider region if you wish. This gives you your relative strengths and weaknesses. If you wish to compare your enrolments with the total number of learner enrolments and see how your market share has changed over recent years, then this requires information relating to all learners rather than just your own, but this is something I see you could do for you. The final piece of analysis is at individual qualification aim. Again, if you wish to compare your enrolments at qualification aim level and see how this has changed over time, then this requires information relating to all learners rather than just your own but this is something I see could do for you. The information collected will give you a very powerful decision making tool and you need to ensure that curriculum planning staff use the evidence base to the full and have the full understanding of how to access and make use of information. If your RCU carries out this work for you, we'll brief your curriculum planning and marketing staff in how to use it. Curriculum planning data is most useful when comparisons are made for the whole population of learners rather than just those of an individual provider. You may wish to consider how you could collaborate with other local providers to share data or alternatively it may make sense for you to commission a specialist such as ICU to conduct the research on your behalf. If you'd like to discuss how our data analysis services or any other research needs you may have, please get in touch.